10. Fascinating Facts About Bob Ross 10. Prior to his TV show on PBS, Bob Ross served for 20 years in the military. Ross joined the United States Air Force in 1961 when he was only 18 years old and he worked his way up to the rank of Master Sergeant before retiring in 1981. 9. When Ross left the Air Force to start a painting career, he permed his hair as a means to save money on haircuts. Ross really didn't enjoy the afro, however, he realized that it held a lot of marketing potential so he kept it and even had it incorporated into the logo for his line of painting products. 8. After leaving the Air Force, Ross vowed to never yell again. In an interview with the Orlando Sentinel, he stated, I was the guy who makes you scrub the latrine, the guy who makes you make your bed, the guy who screams at you for being late to work. The job requires you to be a mean, tough person, and I was fed up with it. 7. Bob Ross's show, The Joy of Painting, ran new seasons on PBS from 1983 to 1994. There were 31 seasons and 403 episodes. Ross was such a quick painter that he was able to film an entire 13-episode season in just over two days. 6. Ross was never paid by PBS for doing the TV show. Instead, Ross made his money by selling the signature art supplies and books which he advertised on the show. 5. Ross's business, Bob Ross Incorporated, continues to make around $15 million a year. 4. Ross was an animal lover and he often spoke about the animals he had saved on his show. He even had hopes of creating a show for children to show them the different types of wildlife in the world. 3. When Bob Ross was young, he lost part of his left index finger in a woodworking accident while he was working with his father who was a carpenter. Luckily, Bob Ross was right-handed so it didn't affect his painting, and most people were unaware that he was missing part of his finger because he was always holding a palette in his left hand when he was on TV. 2. Bob Ross made an estimated 30,000 paintings in his lifetime, many of which were donated to PBS stations for fundraisers. 1. Despite being loved by the general populace, Ross was often criticized in the art community for being formulaic or a commercial exploiter, but Ross didn't pay much attention to his critics, and he said he had no desire for acceptance from the contemporary art world. All he wants to do, he said, is teach people to enjoy painting. Traditionally, art has been for the select few. We have been brainwashed to believe that Michelangelo had to pat you on the head at birth. Well, we show people that anyone can paint a picture that they're proud of. It may never hang in the Smithsonian, but it will certainly be something that they'll hang in their home and be proud of. And that's what it's all about. I swear to God.